Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Today we will speak about one more amazing miracle in the Quran. Um, but before we uh, uh, continue, I want to warn people that's watching my video, it's mean you have to use your brain. And that is not suitable for Muslims. And just just to give you like an attention, so you need to know, if you are a Muslim, you better not to watch my video because then you will use your brain and you will find that everything you heard is nothing but a joke. All right? Uh, in front of us, we have an amazing miracle in the Quran, and I say amazing because simply it's amazing. Like, look at this. Look, look at this. Unbelievable, man. Look, the Muslims, they come with science, a book of science. They come with unbelievable discoveries just from one word in the Quran. This word. Like, is it? This is really amazing. The Quran used the word al hukki and that come to all these studies you will see down and that word means supposedly furnished with paths this word in the Quran is a discovery by itself we need to sit down and study carefully and you will find look look do you see the do you see the lines do you see going there what what is this all have to do with the with this word uh, how how this has happened? The use of this word in the verse is particularly wise, represent the current state of scientific knowledge in two aspects. The first, the orbit and paths in the universe are so dense. This is what the what the Quran is talking about. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know, when when a when a, a book of religion speaks about uh, anything uh, we have one of two ways to understand it either we take it take it a uh, literate way or we take it in a metaphorical way right now I will go with the Muslims and go with them says that this is about not about metaphorical this is about uh, a literate way but then I need to ask myself uh, if Allah swear here by the the, the, the path is in, in the in the in the sky what all of this have to do with this oath about sky and path is like does Allah speak about the Milky Way and the, the, the and the dense of the the, the, the space and uh, uh, the thousand of kilometers it's just one word Allah swear by the path of heaven now to make it more more simple just to show you how, how Muslims are, are, are a nation of confusion the question is how this guy he come with all of this all this study out of one word in the Quran when all the Muslim scholars before him they could not even find what this word mean exactly if we go to the interpretation of any Muslim scholar this is Ibn Abbas one of the highest scholars in Islam chapter 51 verse number 7 by the heaven full of paths this is another oath Allah swear by the seemly and the beautiful heaven that has passed okay so what the passes mean it has but but doesn't say what it is and it's also said that is full of paths mean it has stars the Sun and the moon so have nothing to do what they are speaking here about uh, science it's just simple swear about uh, uh, things in the sky it's not about uh, 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 those numbers and those uh, 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 they claim to be a miracle etc so out of one word they made a miracle however for me I don't and I don't uh, agree with the with the Muslim scholars about this one uh, because if it's about a, a location that mean uh, if you read the verse it says by the heaven that will hooky that will hooky it doesn't say by the heaven full width of paths it says by the sky which has al hooky if we go to the front interpretation we will see the following let us see this is a general name just to prove that i am right he says and by the heavens with all its tracks meaning in pattern and meaning to turuk turuk mean ways roads 
roads. Now, to make it more easy to understand, Allah swear by the ways He created to go to heaven. And that more make more sense, right? Because this is a religious book, and the whole idea of this book is about people going to heaven. And all of us, we know that Muhammad, he went to heaven using a mule, right? And how he went to the heaven? He used uh, roads, he used a turuq, turuq, which means roads. If we go to the hadith, we will find the following. Actually, before the hadith, let's see the Quran. In chapter 17, verse number 1, it says, Allah, Allah praising himself, he says, Subhana alladhi, alladhi asra. Uh, glory to Allah, which is very funny. You know, actually the, the verse doesn't say the word Allah, but he put it in between two brackets. Uh, 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 glory to Allah, who did take his servant for a journey by night to the sacred mosque. And then from there he took him to heaven. Alright? So, there is a journey, and there is a way, and there is a road to go to heaven. And this is what the verse is talking about. If we go to the hadith, we will find how the journey uh, happened. This is Sahih Muslim. Hadith number, uh, uh, book number 309, hadith number 001. It says, uh, narrated by, 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 and this is, by the way, this is very strong hadith. We can show it uh, even in Sahih al-Bukhari too. Uh, Muhammad, he went to heaven by an animal. His name is al-Buraq. What his name? Al-Buraq. That animal Muhammad, he described him, and he called him animal, that he is white and long. Longer than a donkey, but smaller than a mule. All right. Who would place his hoof a distance equal to the range of the of of the uh, uh, division? Actually, in here they are they between the word and the way they want. So, guys, this guy uh, uh, Muhammad talking about the donkey which Allah He sent to him, and the distance between the the, the first uh, leg or foot and the the the, the back one. Is the same distance between here and the horizon. This is, excuse me, very, very, very long. He mounted in it, and then he took him to the temple uh, in Jerusalem, and from there he went all the way to heaven. All right. Then he took me to heaven. Now, in order for Muhammad to go to heaven, it must be there is a, a, a path, a, a way. A road, right? And then you will see the story that Muhammad he enter heaven, and he is escended from heaven. From he go up from from heaven to heaven, and there are seven heavens, and each heaven have a door and have a guard and have a way and have a, 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 a street, and uh, the question repeat itself. So I'm not going to read the whole thing. You can read it by your own time. Uh, simply, what this is talking about that's Allah praising the ways. Of heaven he created so have nothing to do with science have nothing to do with all those numbers Muslims are the last one to trust and I'm not exaggerating don't ever trust a Muslim claim about anything because as you see none of what they are saying is even exist in their Quran not even in the interpretation so even not even in the translation so where they come with all these stories and all those numbers and all this fabrication Simply, uh, they have to because they, they don't know what to do. They, they, they wanted to prove to you Islam is from God, but they, they are desperate. Same time, as long as I'm talking about this verse, I want to show you how stupid this verse is. Because if you listen to this chapter, actually, not only the verse, you will see that this, this chapter is amazingly stupid and doesn't make sense. Listen with me. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, Note with me here that what he just read for us in the name of Allah, the, the beneficent, uh, the, the merciful, it's not counted as number one verse, which means the Muslims even adding verses to the Quran. Because if this is not from the Quran, why you add it? This is verse number one, this is not part of it. You know what I mean? This is a proof that Muslims, when they say that they didn't fabricate, they are fabricators, because this is not part of the verse. They added those in the top of every chapter in the Quran as a fabrication. Then, let us see Allah swearing by what? And you will see how stupid it is. By those that winnow with the winnowing. What, 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 what? By those that winnow with the winnowing? What is that? 
and those that bear the burden of the rain. Allah swear by those who bear the burden of the rain. What is that? Of the rain and those that glide with ease upon the sea. And Allah swear by those who glide with the ease of upon the sea. What is that? On the sea and those who distribute blessings by command. Allah swear by all of those. Command. Lo, that wherewith ye are threatened is indeed true, and lo, the judgment will indeed befall by the heaven full of power. So here you notice that he's talking about what? He's talking about judgment, and indeed is going to happen, and then the heaven's roads will come. So it's, it's obviously, it's about going to heaven, it's about going uh, uh, after you, uh, Allah will judge you for your deed, then Allah he is swearing by the, the promises ways to go to heaven. You know, I promise you to go to heaven. And not, not to forget to mention that even the Islam and Allah and Muhammad he taught that Muslims will pass over a bridge over the hellfire. And this is one of the paths to heaven. As you see in chapter 1 verse number 6, it says, Guide us to the straight path that is show the way to it. And there is many hadith actually speak about uh, the roads and the bridges and this is one of them this is an islamic website as you see and this is sahih bukhari hadith number 2308 here you will see that uh, muhammad is speaking about a bridge where muslims are going to pass over it and in that bridge uh, uh, what will will be done uh, some of the muslim of the muslims will will, uh, uh, will walk through fire and allah will do barbecue for them and this is how he purified them from their sin. So, uh, when the believer pass safely over the hell fire, they will be stopped at the bridge in between hell. So there is a bridge. Okay, this is this is literate. This is not metaphorical. And this bridge is called as Siratul Mustaqim. So this bridge is between the hell and paradise. And they will be recommended, or like they, they will be uh, questions, and uh, you know, simply is like uh, you will be punished for your sin for some time over this bridge, and then Allah will let you go inside heaven. So simply, what what uh, what the verse there is speaking about path is, is speaking about the ways to go to heaven. It has nothing to do with science, and it's not part of science. It's nothing but a fabrication of Muslims because they are desperate to make their book. A scientific book and you know the Muslim do not notice how dangerous is what they do when they try to find science in the Quran because you try to find science people will find something else and as long we are in that chapter let me show you a mistake in the chapter they are quoting from I spoke before about the Quran speaking about the earth being flat however today from the same chapter we will talk about something else and uh, all things we have created by pairs so which what what mean here pairs is a male and female etc so is that really accurate and notice here this is the interpretation says and uh, uh, all things we have created in the earth is made as pairs which is female and male now we know that there is many animals uh, 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 you know some of them there is not even uh, there's no male the same animal can change itself to a female however I will let that go but what about creatures like uh, uh, living creatures who they are like virus or bacteria, and those are not male or female there is one cells uh, bacteria, uh, uh, you know and there is uh, and those they don't really any have any gender they don't have sex actually many animals they, they, they produce without sex so when the when the Quran speak that we made everything from, from pairs male and female this is absolutely a, a false statement anyway uh, my coming book is going to be very soon out and it specifically speak or, uh, about refuting the science of the Quran show with the true meaning not the fabricated meaning is made by the Muslims and it's going to be posted very very soon in amazon.com so you can have it However, if you do not have my first book yet, which is The Deception of Allah, I advise you to read it and enjoy it. God bless, and as always we say, Islam is false, and Christ is Lord.